I hate it when people ask me the most simplest questions. Like you no. can just Google and get the answer. Well, the, I think a lot of, and I'm not saying this is the, the same for, for everyone. And I'm not saying that uh, people don't get assistance, but most people that I know that are very successful in what they're doing did not ask someone how to start that business or they just, they just did it. They took action. Um, they didn't, you know, when I started the clothing thing, I wasn't asking people, how do I start a clothing manufacturer? I was like, I'll just kind of figure it out with the candy thing. I, I've, I was like, how do I find someone who makes candy? You know, how, how do I, how do I find people who make the bag? Who, who, who do I, how do I know what to put on the nutrition labels? Like, you know, I, I didn't know all this, this information. I was like, I didn't know what legally has to be on the packaging. And, um, you know, I think a lot of people just don't want to put in the work on the initial thing. They only want the upside of whether whatever the success of the brand and the growth. So if, if you can't put in the work in the beginning stages, then I don't think that you're really cut out for the business you're trying to get into. Right. And some like a rough ride, you know? Absolutely. And sometimes, right, some questions don't need to be answered until you actually get there. And when you get there, you then can start to pick apart things. If, if you think 10 years ahead, then you're going to have a struggle starting because you're going to see so many obstacles to overcome. You're not even going to want to start. That's what is that everything I've ever started. I, now a little bit more mature and I, I understand where things go. But back back then, I'd start something and I wouldn't even think what would happen next. And as soon as I go, all right, we need this. Okay, well, let's Google. Let's see what we need to do now. Oh, okay, well, that... That needs certain regulation or, you know, we need to start, have a Yori number to import this product. Okay, what's a Yori number? Yori number, apply now. You know, things like that. They just mm -hmm. don't need answering right away. Have you ever had any failures, Max? I think I've had a lot of, I, I, I guess in relation to, to business, I never really look at anything as failures. I, I see a lot of like launches that don't do as well. I, I see like ideas that I have that don't come to fruition. Um, I don't know. I've been asked that question before and I, it's not like I've like never failed at anything, but I, I, I guess nothing that I've done has ever like crumbled in front of me. I think what I do is when I see something that maybe isn't working out or panning out as much as I, I think it is, I just immediately deviate from that and I immediately like change change positions in what, in what I'm doing. And, and I try to minimize any sort of like failure, but I, I, I guess I haven't started anything that has been some wild loss or, or failure, but, but I guess, I mean, there's been a lot of ups and downs with the clothing thing. Like I said, I've, I've gotten manufacturers where I've gotten hundreds and hundreds of items and it's just been a complete loss. And I've had to, you know, just donate them all to the, to the goodwill. I tried doing these like fleece zip over pullovers, got the sample of, uh, the logo embroidered. And then when I got it, it looked like my dog had done the embroidering on it. It was just so bad. And I was <laughs> like, oh, and I had like hundreds and hundreds of these things. And I was like, what am I going to do? And um, I think I think a lot of times people get caught up in failures and like downs, and then they, they just immediately quit or get or give up. I mean, it, even like if you look at like social media, a lot of people always want this upward trajectory of like growth. And you look at someone, even like my YouTube channel, like I, I really, I have great engagement. I appreciate everyone that like watches all my videos. But if you truly look at like the growth of my YouTube in the past two years, it's like almost like a flat line. Like it's just, it's just like that. And a lot of people would give up because they're like, it's not growing. It's, it's not going down, but it's not growing. It's just like kind of staying where it is. And I'm like, you just need to be like, okay, well then where you're staying, how do you maximize everything you're doing with the, the line that you're on? And I, I don't get obsessed with trying to do like growth hacks and all these crazy things. I just, I'm like, you know what? I just keep being me and it goes up, it goes up, you know? Mm, I like it. Can you just say one more thing for me? Um, say Harry Bob again. You know, I... <laughs> <laughs> I called it Haribo and then someone corrected me and was like, Haribo. <laughs> I have never heard that in my Haribo? life before. God, no, now I got to slap someone, dude, because, yeah, Haribo is how I would call it, for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's what we said, Haribo. And when you said Haribo, I looked at Dan, I was like, what's he on about? <laughs> yeah, okay, well, it's just like, I, do you call it uh, Ibiza or Ibiza? Ibiza. Okay, see, uh, I'm over here, Ibiza. Yeah, I'm like, it, there's a Z. <laughs> which is and probably Rob's right. like, Ibiza. 